Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. And this uh, beautiful old piano, this Malcolm piano, was made, it was made by the Kohler and Campbell Company for, uh, for Malcolm in 1911. So it is 103 years old at the time that I made this, made this video. Um, we've been extremely thorough in refurbishing this piano. Any piano older than 10 years or so is, is going to be in, in need of work. And as you get older and older, especially as you get 50 or 60, 80 years old, they are going to desperately need work. And we have taken care of all of that. I have a very extensive checklist where I take care of um, everything that, uh, that these old pianos could possibly need. I've developed this checklist over the last, um, well, I started working on pianos in 95, and I really started in earnest working on this uh, checklist in maybe about 2000 or so, 1999, kind of right in there. So I've just added and added and added, and now I just go the whole shebang, and this piano is in fantastic condition. Some of the specifics that are included in this checklist, of course, cleaning, that goes without saying. All these pianos are very, very dusty and dirty. You get under some of these, actually all of them, all of these old pianos, or the keys, for example, and the dust is so thick that you can literally peel it up like, a, like an old carpet. Um, we clean all of that out very thoroughly, inside, outside, the action, the, the pedals and all of the mechanism, the trap work down in there um, is, is immaculately clean. All of the action, of course, every note has uh, several moving parts, lots of moving parts, and so all of that we lubricate, tighten everything up, align everything, and you can imagine if you can kind of picture in your mind how long 100 years ago is and how and all of these moving parts and what and what time does to anything with a moving part. I mean, this is before World War One. World War One started. Uh, 1914 and this is three years before that so this is very old um, but we've taken care of absolutely everything so the uh, other other things that we do I, I'm talking about the technical aspects regulation and tightening lubrication alignment all of that tuning of course replacing strings we also take care of a lot of cosmetic little things like like we take the pedals off you can see the pedals down there um, buff those and lacquer them. All of these little little touches here, these little rubber bumpers and things like that. Um, and of course we we go we haven't refinished really this piano, but but we have things that we different uh, um, dyes and sprays and things finish finishes that we spray to uh, to give it um, a very nice very nice look. So I'm not claiming that it's refinished, just that it looks very, very nice, um, which, which I don't know how much the video, how much you can see in this video, but you'll have to see for yourself that it looks great. The uh, tone of this piano is, uh, it's, it's, a nice, it's a nice tone, it's kind of middle of the road, it's, it's neither warm nor particularly bright. Um, and the touch is is very nice. It's a it's a typical touch of a hundred year old piano that has been fully regulated and and refurbished. Oh, and one more thing before I play it that I should mention about uh, all of this stuff that we do. Not only not only does it does it enable the piano to play well now, it also there's a lot of pre preemptive kind of uh, uh, what's the word. Uh, I guess preemptive is the is the right word to ensure longevity and durability of the of the piano.
piano. Nice touch, nice tone. Please come in and check it out for yourself.